Right, well, we're in Betty today. We're in Chichester. Free from 11 till 2. So here's Chichester on the map, so you can uh, get an idea of where that is in the UK. Well, this looks really nice. Nice houses, all painted. Over here you've got a nice looking park, lots of trees. So let's go in the centre of town. They just look really nice. Going opposite this park. So we'll see if we can have a look and see what's the other side of these walls. Got to get a shot of this, this looks lovely. Right, so this is the other side of the wall. It's got this big area here. It's like an old church or a abbey or something. It's nice old buildings around the edge. So we'll have a little explore. And um, yeah, let's have a look. We'll see what Chichester's like. Well, you know how I like old buildings, and these just look very nice. Church spire there in the distance. We're still in this park. Or wherever that was, church, monastery. It says it's the Guild Hall. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. A nice little sort of cafe over there. Again, lots of lovely old buildings here. Including this little one. And the cellar down there. Astronaut Tim Peake and singer-songwriter Tom O'Dell both come from Chichester. Surprisingly, Chichester has one of the highest rates of empty houses in, the, uh, in England. Um, in October 2020, there were 3,444 empty homes in Chichester, of which 3,302 of those were second homes. That equates to one in every 17 houses. There is plenty of um, paid parking in Chichester. I was just too tight and I wanted to get somewhere for free so uh, I had to have a little hunt around but I found something. This old place here. It's very nice. And look at this building here. And another poultry cross here in the centre of town. More impressive than Winchester and Sherbourne and Salisbury put together. Down here, these nice old buildings, hotel, and an opposite, this place, Chichester Cathedral. So it's very impressive. Even this nice, boarded up, nice buildings. I'm going to get this tree, but more importantly, just outside the cathedral, look at this, St. Richard. I didn't even know I was a saint.
check out the little door. Tiny. So this bit here just um, reminds me of uh, something out of one of the Harry Potter films. Obviously this is where the choir boys are all stationed and where they'll be singing on a Sunday. It's not often you'll see an organ of that size. I wonder how often that's been said in a church. So two facts about the cathedral, um, one of which I'm really not sure. Um, firstly is that it was built in 1075, but secondly that the population of Chichester could all fit inside the cathedral, which seems hard to believe, but uh, if it says it on the internet, it's true. So here they have a glass floor. If you look down, you can see a Roman mosaic from what would have been here in Roman times. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought the cathedral was old, but uh, that's really old. So it's free to get in here. Um, but they suggest that, that you make a, a donation of about three pounds. I think I, I gave them a fiver, um, and uh, you know I don't often come into cathedrals, but I thought uh, I'll come into this one and uh, and record just to uh, give you guys a, uh, a an idea of what these look like. I'm guessing if someone. Uh, is watching this in America and they've never left America that they must be just looking at this and thinking wow you know look at the, how old all this stuff is whereas we, we just take it for granted it is everywhere This old light. Yeah, how old that is, even stained glass just on the light. Obviously the building there really impressive. I didn't want to say much when I was in there obviously. But uh, there we go. Right, so that's the cathedral done, and now I think we'll um, head back into town. Obviously, I don't normally do the cathedrals, but normally wander around inside. But I figured I'll have a little look in that one. Right, so we're back in the centre. It's that poultry cross. 
and we walked up that way earlier by the ivy so we'll have a look down this way now so we filmed this on a friday afternoon uh, so uh, just to give you an idea of uh, how many people are around again really nice old buildings really old church there for the looks of things Again, another nice old building, 1880. Not sure who's on the statue. Uh -huh. Ratio Nelson, Sir George Murray. Again, North House, 1936. This building there, the old cross. Cornish Bakery. For those that are wondering, uh, yes I did have a large traditional pasty. Uh, as is normally the case, I'm not going to get a chance to see um, everything uh, in the town I visit. I'm sure there's loads that I would have missed out, but uh, i just give you a quick overview of the centre really. So this is the cathedral gate, and as we go through here, again, really nice old houses, and uh, yeah, we'll walk up, I think there's some gardens at the end of this, so we'll walk up and have a look. This is a 1954 Morris Minor, still on the road, and in very good condition too. And there's this pathway leading to the cathedral there. This is the road. With that little archway, and then look at the size of this place here. Here's that gate that we could see at the end of the driveway. I'm not sure where this goes, but we'll find out in a minute. Gardens, I think. This little door, and those little windows. Right, so we're going to go from here into these gardens, Bishop Palace Gardens. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's very nice. And that's what we couldn't see through earlier. That lovely house. And this little turrets, what would have been a little door? What's through here? Shame it's not sunny, really. Underneath this big magnolia tree. We've really liked Chichester and um, I think it's def definitely worth visiting. Uh, you know, nice range of shops, nice feel to the place and uh, obviously with the cathedral as well and the gardens. So uh, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely come back here. Look at these buildings. All old, all very nice. Look at that. That is palatial. 
and behind it as well. Right, that'll do for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, that was Chichester, and um, yeah, I'll post another video up shortly.